On a busy day, certainly after rainy days or snowy days when people are need to get their uh, cars washed and there's a long line, there are some very high-strung people that come through here and they're very much in a rush. People that come through during the week um, are often uh, livery car drivers and so they're getting their car washed almost daily, some twice a day. So you really get to know people. So I was not thinking of opening up a business in the car wash. I was thinking of the corner shop in an emerging neighborhood, uh, but it became clear really quickly that you know real estate in the boroughs are, is really expensive. And, and speaking with my father-in-law, uh, who owns the car wash, you know, he made mention that there was some available space and maybe I could do something with that. Having worked in restaurants such as Chanterelle, I really took the approach of wanting to make donuts that were more of a chef-driven idea, like the halva donut. Halva is a, a relatable candy that people are familiar with, but they haven't seen it in a donut form. As far as my you know, like Jewish upbringing, you know, my family, during the holidays, we would eat more traditional foods. That was something that was important to me for the coconut lime donut, eating the coconut macaroons growing up as a kid. I start anywhere from 1.30 in the morning to 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, I'm making all the donuts by hand every morning. We focus on cake donuts. We have the dry ingredients, and then to that we add our wet ingredients, and including like milk and eggs. And then once those are combined in our mixer, we load it into our donut robot, and then we have ring-shaped donuts that get fried in pretty hot oil.